In part 2, in the last video we saw how mark type works and how it is really the heart of Tableau. How Tableau is interpreting each of our points or marks and then deciding what chart to draw. So now let's uh, get into more details which is to talk about what other ways can we make the mark talk in, in through the use of changing properties like for example uh, here is the same chart and can I change the color of each of these marks. Uh, can I change the size? Can I change the shape? What is the purpose of all of this, right? Uh, the purpose of all of this is if I have more information to encode here, for example, I have uh, year wise uh, salary total salary. What if I want to also show gender here, right? How can we show gender here? So I can take uh, each one of these data points. Let's uh, start with this, for example, this one, which seems uh, very high, 1.52 million in 2013. Can I break it down in by gender? So you will get two numbers, right? So now if I plot both of the numbers, how can I differentiate between them quickly? The whole idea of displaying something in a chart is to convey a message very quickly, right? So that is where the whole I, the, the properties like color, size or shape really comes in because with using rows and columns all we have is two dimensions so which we have already used here. So uh, this is the y axis used, the x axis use is already used. Now if you are breaking things we will be just adding more to this without any differentiation. To bring about this differentiation we can use these these three types of encodings right these are the most common ones now let's get into tableau and how it works so now this is the same chart so what i am gonna do is to just hover over on this color so what is it saying so drag dimensions or measures here or click for more options the way to think of this marks card and all of these properties is is what's its purpose there are two purposes what I call a conventional purpose and what I call a special purpose. A conventional purpose of marks card is to change how each mark looks. For example, I don't like this blue color. I can click here, change it to another color, right? So this is what some, some tool like Excel will allow you to do, right? And then, oh, this is too big. I can change it to too small. I can change it to too big, it does not, right? So these this is the conventional use of uh, uh, something like this right how do i change the uh, property like color or size right but it does not convey additional information right so that is where so let me reset this color uh, to the nice blue that came up right so how do i convey additional information so so color is suggesting that i could drag dimensions or measures here let's see each one of them how it works so i'm gonna drag and drop something which has just two values gender that we all understand that means each of these points that we see will be broken down into two further points so each year has now one value now once i drop this it will become two values and each value will get a different color so see what's happening so let me turn off these uh, labels otherwise it looks very busy this chart right so now focus here on the legend so let me bring the legend over here right so let me bring uh, click on one of them so tableau nicely highlights the four data points which belong to the female gender and then i can click on male it gives me this right so now i am able to see where the male thing is fitting uh, and then in general you know is, is the male salary high or is it female salary high uh, we can get a picture through this right so this is with respect to so now through the use of color we have conveyed an additional information which was not possible in in uh, x and y axis if we did, do not have this what is the possibility for example i can bring gender here so look at this so this is resulting in this kind of a chart or i can bring gender here which results in a slightly different type of chart these are both possibilities but both of them basically expand the the chart and how it is displayed and then in case of a color it makes it it keeps the chart compact but then adds this information through the use of uh, color so you have one more way to encode apart from basically columns or rows so that is with respect to color we have looked at how this works with respect to dimensions so now let me remove this and then bring something like uh, a measure like salary 
So we have already seen in the earlier videos on blue buckets and, and green ruler. Whenever we drop a dimension on color, we get discrete colors, meaning separate colors. Whenever we drop something which is a measure, which is a continuous thing, we get only one color, but from a, from a low end of the spectrum to the high, what is called the gradient thing. So here, by default, Tableau is choosing the blue color. If I double click, you would see there are a lot more possibilities, right? So we can go from, for example, orange to blue diverging also. This is possible, right? Uh, but let's reset and the purpose is not to yeah you have a number of possibilities now we can see in addition to displaying a simple data point we are also using the color to highlight here all we are doing is emphasizing some data points which are already visible here right but we are giving a lot more emphasis in a simple chart like this this is not very uh, useful but if i turn this around uh, right so now we have a lot more data points and we can very clearly see uh, which data points are you know where the high salaries were are where the low salaries are uh, clearly right so this is where the color is helpful so now let's uh, come back to using gender on size right so we can have it does not really make sense to have gender on size but just let me drop and then see how it works so what is happening is this female is, is plotted very small so let me increase the size that you will see right uh, it I mean when we are talking about size naturally we are thinking about a number right so the, the dimension does not really make sense so let me remove this and then put something that makes more sense in this case so if I basically uh, look at a bigger size also uh, you can see the smaller ones are the smaller salaries and the bigger ones are the bigger salaries in a chart like this where we have a clear axis telling us what is small and what is big this is no big deal but if we take it into a map and then drop the same things where the map you know the the y-axis and x axis is not telling us how the values are going from one end to another end right uh, so where it is encoding lat and long there the size becomes very important for us right so there are places where this property is useful right in this chart it's not very useful so now we are done with size also so now what about the third item which i said uh, shape which where you have to select a mark type called shape now i can use uh, now let me hover over this and we see it the same things so first it gives you the conventional options instead of if i don't like one shape i can display another shape uh, but then we can also drop the same thing so now we have two possibilities previously we used color for this let me turn on highlighting here uh, so you could see these are two possibilities here right um, in case of a shape uh, something discrete makes really sense but you could in theory also drop something like this uh, to me it does not make sense so let's summarize so we have three properties color size and shape in color we can drag both a dimension and a measure and both are meaningful uh, in size only uh, a number a measure is more meaningful uh, dimension at least to me is not very meaningful in shape it is the opposite case where a dimension is useful right so now in addition to rows and columns so we have three other variables that we can encode in the mark how is this useful this would be useful when we have lot of data points so for example let me demonstrate something to you so i'm going to take two numbers like salary and age uh, and then this displays only one number because both are aggregated i'm going to turn off aggregation now we have around you can see at the bottom here so it's 220 points plotted here right so almost all the data points i have 220 records in this employee master they are plotted by age and salary so now how do I encode information? This is where I think whatever we covered so far would be useful. First, how do I show the bigger salaries, right? So obviously these are the bigger salaries, but I can, for example, bring uh, size. So now this is much more meaningful, right? So we can see uh, which ones are bigger, which ones are smaller. And then can I bring, for example, gender now we can see gender and what can we bring in terms of shape for example right so let me bring something like department right so now this is very colorful uh, and sometimes it's even hard to interpret but this is there is a way to sensibly use this so that we can actually 
derive value out of this as such this chart is is not the best chart uh, for displaying this kind of information but the idea is to show you uh, what is the purpose of these encodings right so this is with respect to what i call the basic chart which is equivalent to our point chart that the, the, the ones that we used to plot in the school days this is called circle plot here uh, now in the next video let's get to the conventional charts that we see uh, bar line and then eventually map and all of these things and how these three properties uh, play a role what uh, information can be encoded in a bar through this in a line through this yeah